saseni karibuni sana kwa video yetu ya leo leo tunaendelea bado na decision making statement tutaangazia jump statement na tutasoma juu ya continue last video tulisoma juu ya break statement in C program Continue statement inatumia keyword continue. Tulisoma juu ya keyword tukasema keyword are reserved words and they have a special meaning. So hapa tunatumia keyword continue kama the keyword. Continue statement zinatumika ndani ya loop. Then they are used inside the loop. You can only use them inside the loop. Syntax ya continue statement unatumia the keyword continue alafu neka semicolon hapa tuko na continue and make sure these keywords continue imeandikwa na small letters alafu mwisho uneka semicolon Continue statement ni opposite of break statement. Yaani ni kinyume ya ile break statement. Tulisoma juu ya break statement, make sure you go there and learn about break statement so that we can move together. So Continue statement I terminate loop inaendeleza ile loop yani it continues with the loop loop i simami ina inaendelea pale kwa katika continue statement so continue statement inalazimisha ile loop kuendelea ama ikuwa aiendelei ina inatekeleza marudio yanayofuata katika program ukiota pameandikwa continue statement umeka continue statement katika ile loop inamaanisha hapo penye pamekwa continue ile statement inafuata itarukwa yani you will skip that statement alafu utarudia ile loop so every time you come across continue statement it means that it will jump the statement next sawa sawa ikuwa kuna statement iko imefuata itarukwa alafu ile loop ita Marudio ya ile loom itaanza. Tutaenda kwa code block tuandike hii program ndio tupate kujua vile unatumia continue katika program. Katika program tunaanza na initialization tunaenda int number is equals to 10 semicolon then we start the while loop while then the condition number is greater than equals to zero. Then we open the braces. Inside the braces we write if brackets. So we create an if statement. If number is equals to equals to seven. Then we open braces to create the body. Number minus minus semicolon meaning that we are reducing we are not increasing we are using decrement operator then we click enter then we write continue semicolon after that we write our output so we copy this statement we paste it here then we change what is written inside percentage d then at the here we put comma then number next we write number minus minus so we are not increasing we are decreasing so we are not using increment we are using decrement operator So we save our program then we build our program we have zero errors and zero warning then we run the program let us remove the new line so that we can get it on on a straight line so the answer to look the same yes so we have 10 9 8 6 like that backwards because we are reducing we are not increasing 
because we have number minus minus we talked about minus is decrement plus plus is increment so here we are reducing so we started with int number is equals to 10 so we declared and initialized number as 10 then after that we open the while loop we said number is greater than equals to 0 is 10 greater than equals to 0 this is true because 10 is greater than 0 yes then after that we went to if statement we said number is equals is equals to 7 this one is false because number is 10 is not 7 so to not talk out of the if statement to render to print because this is false to not print n n is 10 so the first answer is 10 then again we minus the number because we are using decrement so we are reducing so we minus the number from 10 to 9 that is 9 greater than equals to 0. This is true because 9 is greater. Yes. So we go here, we put 9. Is 9 equals to 7? This is false. So to naruka iyo, to natoka katika if statement, to nakuja to print number, to print 9. Then to na reduce that number. So inatoka inatoka kutoka 9 inakuwa 8. So we go again, we check. Is 8 greater than equals to 0? This is true. So, because it is true, we get inside the if statement. So, we check is 8 equals to equals to 7. This is false because it's not equals to. So, to end up to print number. So, to print 8. Then again, to reduce the number in a 7. To reduce the number in a 7, to nangalia is 7 greater than 0, which is true. Then, is 7 equals equals to 7? This is true. Because I believe true. Tunakuja hapa, tunafanya nini? Tuna reduce number in a kuwa 6. Sawa, sawa. Then, kwa sababu hapa pameandikuwa continue, atuta print anything. Kwa mbua continue, tulisema tunaruka hii statement, iko after continue. Kwa hivyo, tutaruka statement, turudi tena. Tuangalie, is 6 greater than equals to 0, which is true. Tukuja hapa, tuange, is 6 equals to 7? This is false. So, if 6 is false, tutatoka out of the condition to print the number so to print number six so to print uh, seven we didn't print seven because we continued meaning that we didn't come here and print the statement we started again the loop sawa, sawa. so when you find continue you skip the statement you begin again the loop very very important so on your man up to print six i took print seven to continue na loop tena to kanza to loop one or ten then to kakuja hapa to reduce the number itakuwa five then we check is five greater than zero which is true is five equals to seven this is false it is not equals to so we will come and print five so it will go on go on until this number is not equals to zero so until this is zero is not greater than equals to zero until this number is false so then we stop the program so at the end we will print all the numbers from 10 to zero except what seven we are not going to print seven because hapa kwa seven to likuja hapa kwa if statement to kapata seven is equals to seven and have to increase the number to six natuka continue meaning that we did not print when you say continue meaning that you are going to start the loop all over again it is very important that you write the code correctly so we have written this code make sure you write the code correctly to get the correct answer kindly remember that when you come across continue inside the program it means that utaruka ile statement inafuata kama hii ndio statement print f unaruka hii statement unaanza loop tena we got this as the output Asante ni sana kwa kunisikiza, mkumbuke kulike hii video na msubscribe kwa hii channel.